safer medical implants, better performing batteries and more accurate industrial measurement tools. An international group of researchers and engineers have developed a new laser prototype that can texture miniature patterns on metal surfaces and thereby enhance their characteristics. It creates the so-called laser-induced periodic surface structures, or in short, LIPS. Laser for soft tried to push a little bit forward. One of the techniques that is that uh, inducing uh, surface nanostructures in the surface of metallic parts and uh, needs to put it or uh, to move it from the lab to the industry, so uh, to, to close the gap from uh, research at the lab scale and put it into mass production or at least a little bit closer to mass production. The core of the prototype is an off-the-shelf femtosecond laser emitter. It produces not a continuous beam but 500,000 pulses per second. The light pulses have a wavelength of 1,030 nanometers, which means they are not visible to the eye. The beam is guided by an array of different mirrors through the setup. These infrared pulses are so powerful that they can drill, cut, structure and mill a metallic surface. During the scanning process, the laser pulses briefly transform the material to plasma. Once the plasma evaporates, it leaves behind a thin line structure. With this new beam shaping module developed by Multitel, it is now possible to adjust the shape of the light from circular to square, the polarization orientation and even the pulse duration of the laser. This enables the engineers to create up to 1,200 lines per millimeter on the surface material, or more than 120,000 lines with one single laser scan. During the lasering process, the travel stage moves back and forward, while the laser head moves from left to right. Each have a range of 1.2 meters, so they can handle also much larger samples. The microscope check reveals the lips pattern produced are accurate and have a periodic texture. The Laser for Surf project has worked with three potential end users who could benefit from such a technology. Rescol, a producer of medical implants, is one of them. Medical implants are usually made of titanium. They are very durable and require high-precision production tools. But once such a device is implanted into our body, it needs to connect with human bones and tissues. A slick surface is counterproductive, so the implants need to be roughened, coated or treated with a laser. We have been working with coatings, uh, but the drawback is you have to prove that your coating is going to really attach to the titanium, that during the, the positioning of the implant it's going to remain there and uh, you are adding a new material. That you have to prove the new material is safe and is functional. By laser you are only modifying an existing material. So for the authorities you have only to demonstrate functionality, but safety is almost done. In a second case study, the research unit of CIC Energy Guna works on the improvement of electrical storage. They are interested in the effect of a treated surface of current collectors in lithium batteries. A rough surface connects better to the electrodes, so researchers studied which kind of laser-induced pattern would improve both the charging and discharging parameters of the batteries, and thereby also their lifetime. We have to roughen this surface, so uh, uh, the contact is better and, and it sticks, so it doesn't peel off. Uh, this roughening, we do it uh, in a non-controlled way right now. We just rub it randomly. Um, the idea here is to, with the laser, do it in a reproducible manner and very controlled way. That actually is what the industry is looking for. The third end user within the Laser for Surf project is Fagor Automation. They develop high-end optical encoders to measure the relative displacement in a machine. Such devices are used in high-precision manufacturing processes. The challenge was here to find the ideal dimensions of a LIPS pattern that would improve the functioning of an optical encoder. Again, the latest test results are promising. 
in our final product, we are able to do this over tape, stain steel tape, up to 60 meters with an accuracy of, well, in, in tape, about five microns per meter. Not too bad. <laughs> All three end users are keen to adapt the new technology on their new product lines. Also because the laser machine comes with an integrated quality control unit inside this black box. After the laser treatment has taken place, the sample moves inside this unit for a thorough checkup using diffraction optics. When light is directed on the textures, the rays are diffracted depending on the induced surface structures. A software analyzes the pattern and verifies their parameters. Last but not least, a sophisticated software was developed by SAIT, a Spanish institute focused on applied research in order to convey the different units of the laser machine into one functional system. As you can see, this is a full prototype, so it's fully open. Uh, obviously, uh, this is not very good looking, but the next step is to industrialize it and make it more robust, repeatable, reproducible as well. And also, for example, put an enclosure all around the machine so that will make it safer and more user-friendly to use, like a real production machine. How such a machine will look like can be observed in one of La Sea's test facilities. Here, a robot is linked with the laser machine to fulfill certain tasks. The texturing with the laser is done inside the enclosure to avoid contact with the workforce. The other assembly activities are taking place outside the laser machine. After 42 months, the project Laser for Surf has come to an end. The consortium has created an all-in-one laser texturing machine that will now take a further final step before reaching the market. La Sea, the manufacturer of the machine, expects to deliver the first units within the next 12 to 18 months.